Hello everyone, it's me, Felony, and welcome to Dauntless Reforged. There's a ton of new things and changes introduced in this update, so I'll do my best to cover all the new features and content. To begin, Hunting Grounds is now in Dauntless, which replaces Patrol and Pursuit Hunts. Hunting Grounds in a nutshell is a new game mode that allows up to six players to traverse the island slaying as many behemoths as they please before jumping onto another island or returning back to Ramsgate. On each island, there are a few things you might encounter. This includes aggressive fauna, some interesting lore, supply crates to replenish your consumables, patrol chests that you can open up with patrol keys, and special island events. Also, if you haven't noticed already, most of the islands in these Shattered Isles have gotten bigger, so to prevent slayers from having to travel slowly to each area, gliders have been introduced. To use the glider, press the jump button when you're high enough off the ground to pull it out. Once you've taken flight, there will be a meter that will gradually drain as you glide in the air. But be aware, this meter is also tethered to your stamina bar, and once it's completely drained, your Slayer will stop flying. Moving on to another big change introduced in Dauntless is the new progression system called the Slayer's Path. This system completely changes the way you progress in Dauntless, so let's break it down. First, you have the main branch. As you earn weapon skill experience, you'll unlock a milestone, which will allow you to gain access to paths connected to that milestone. These side paths can unlock passives, new weapon mods, new islands, and new game modes. Keep in mind, these side paths will require you to spend a ton of rams and merits to unlock them. Merits, since most of us may not know about, is a new currency that has been added to this update, which you can earn by handing in certain quests, opening up patrol chest, reaching certain mastery levels, and completing island events. There are two different types of merits available, so make sure you know which one you will need for the node you wish to unlock. Up next, this update has completely overhauled the way we upgrade gear and how we gain power and resistance. To start, your gear is now divided into tiers, which basically means the gear you earn in the beginning of the game will have a much lower base score than the one you would obtain later on. If you're worried that gear obtained in the beginning such as Nasher or Boreas equipment will be obsolete, don't worry, there's a way to fix that, but I'll explain that further in the video. Anyway, not only is your power score affected by the type of weapon tier you use, your weapon skill level will play a major role on how much power you will have, so the higher you are, the more damage you can do. So if you want to raise your weapon skills, simply slay behemoths and turn in bounties while that weapon type is equipped. And once a weapon is maxed out at level 20 and you have the Reforged Slayer's Path node unlocked, you'll be able to reforge your weapon skill at the Spark Forge located near Cat in Ramsgate. To reforge, you will need to have 100 Aether Sparks, which can be obtained in various ways. You can get them from daily coin flips, patrol chest, island events, mastery rewards, and from the Hump Pass. When reforging, your weapon skill rank will be reset back down to level 1, and you'll be given a reforge rank and an aether heart. Now, you might ask, what's the purpose of having a reforge rank? Well, at certain reforge levels in the Slayer's Path, you'll unlock empowerments, which permanently increase your stats for all weapons. And depending on the stats you wish to work on will depend on the weapon you'll need to reforge. As for Aether Hearts, they are used for power surging gear, which is the new way to upgrade your weapons and armor. Once you power surge a weapon or armor piece, its base stats will be maxed out and increase both the gear's perk level and its unique effects. This in return allows even lower tier gear to be on par with the highest tier. Just make sure you are power surging the right weapon or armor piece because if you make a mistake, it cannot be undone. Another thing you can find in this update is the Cold Front Hunt Pass. This Hunt Pass is packed with some of the coolest weapons and armor I've seen to date. Not to mention, the in-game store is packed with new items, cosmetics for your glider, emotes, and a bundle that contains a facial cosmetic and a sword transmog. I know this is a ton of new information to learn, so if you still have questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in Dauntless.